Stage 7 of the 2013 Unpost Ross takes the riders from Carlo to Nace, a total stage distance of 141.2 kilometers. Ahead of stage 7, taking the riders from Carlo to Nace, Marcin Bielblocki held yellow, Owen Duell in green, Simon Yates in the under 23, and Martin Hunal was king of the mountains. Attacks early in the stage included Canadian Christopher Dahl and Benjamin Edmuller of Austria Gebru de Weiss. As yesterday, many Irish riders tried to get up the road, including Ryan Sherlock of Polygon Sweet Nice, Colin Robinson of Stamullen Martin Donnelly, Simon Ryan of Visit Nina, and Timmy O'Regan of DID Dunboyne. With all brakes being reeled in, even general classification contenders Remy Pelletier Roy and Roger Aiken tried to attack, but no moves were successful before 20 kilometres. An initial break of four, including De Cattell of Belgium, Ed Muller of Gebru de Weiss, Hartridge of USA, and Okrulicki of Sparta Prague worked well to establish a gap before yesterday's stage winner Rico Rogers of Synergy Baku and Christopher Dahl of Canada. When the latter joined, they established a lead of 48 seconds through Cool Boy, which went up to 1 minute 14 at the start of the Category 2, Bally Thomas Hill. Intent on defending Gunnar's King of the Mountains jersey, it was Thomas Okrulicki of Sparta Prague who took the cream, ahead of De Cattell, Ed Muller, Hartridge, Dahl and Rogers. Starting the ascent of the Category 2, Gary Moore, and with the gap faltering to 120, both Thomas Okrulicki and Kenny De Cattell pressed on. And over the top, the others had dropped back to only 36 seconds, with the main field at 1 minute 20. At the foot of the Shea Elliott Category 1 climb, Okrulicki and De Cattell led the field by over two minutes, with Roger Aiken of Loud Pag Charter and Rico Rogers of Synergy Baku chasing hard. Over the top of Drum Guff and entering Lara, Okrulicki held a lead of 1 minute 5 on the yellow jersey, with the field a further 20 seconds behind. It was on the lower slopes of the Wicklow Gap that Roger Aiken also joined De Cattell and Ed Muller. Aiken pressed hard at the foot of the climb in pursuit of Okrulicki before De Cattell lost contact and shortly after Kratjuvila too. Towards the top of the Wicklow Gap, Aiken made contact with Okrulicki and for a short time the Loud Prague charter rider was the virtual race leader on the road. Cresting the top of the Wicklow Gap, Marcin Bielblocki was riding to retain the lead and close down attacks on general classification riders. Mark Dowling of Polygon Sweet Nice attacked with fourth on general classification Richard Handley of Rafa Condor JLT. On the descent towards Hollywood, Kratjuvila had called Okrulicki and Aiken, and they held a 45 second lead on Dowling and Handley, with the main field closing to one minute. Into the final fast kilometres towards Nace, Aiken and Okrulicki and Kratjuvila were holding out the closing chasers as the yellow of Beal Blocky sought to contain Aiken's lead. In a tight sprint for the stage, it was Thomas Okrulicki who took the stage from Aiken and Kratjuvila, with Owen Duell leading in the yellow jersey group at 23 seconds. No change overall yet again after this mountainous stage, with Biel Blocky leading McConvey and Guldhammer of Blue Water Denmark in third. Biel Blocky retains the points jersey also, with Simon Yates leading the under 23, Martin Hunal the king of the mountains, and Roger Aiken the leading county rider on the stage. <laughs>